Hi everyone, my name is Tony Wale. Welcome to the next episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you basically how to convert a mod that uses SKSE, SKS, SKSE scripts and bring it over to Skyrim Special Edition and you will using SKSE 64 Alpha. Now be warned right now there's a giant bug going on with SKSE 64 Alpha. Hopefully it will be transitioned over. But I'm just going to go over through the steps of basically taking a mod like a um, player voice sets which is one of my favorite mods of all time I, I cannot play without it on, my, on the old rim and we're gonna bring it over to the new Skyrim special edition now this is kind of a, a complicated but simple mod so and one of the reasons we're gonna do this is because this mod allows you in the MCM menu to actually test out the mod and make sure it's working properly so the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna download the mod bring it to your desktop and you're gonna wanna go click um, you know extract the files once you extract the files a folder is gonna open up so we're gonna do that right now All right. Once the files have been extracted, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open it up. All right. See here now. This has a BSA. In order to use XKC64 or any SKC right now mod, you need to actually extract the BSA. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to my mods, my tools, and the BSA extractor. You're going to click here. And then move this out of the way. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to drop the BSA file in the um, in the BSA extractor. See within it, scripts, SKs, and it. Alright, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and extract it. You're gonna put and that's, and that's SE, so you're, you're gonna want to go ahead and add a new folder. Uh, create here if you want. So I already have another folder called uh, but I'll show you how to do this one first. Here you go. Uh, see that's this folder, put it in there, you're gonna go ahead and extract select folder. Now this is only, f even though this looks like a small mod, it actually has a lot of files. Mostly these are a lot of sound files. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and get out of the BSA extractor and we're going to click at it. We no longer need it. You, you no longer need the BSA since you have all the, all the files here. Alright, now this is going to be tricky because what we're going to do next is we're going to, we need to basically load this file into the creation kit. So you bring over to the, you only need the ESP in all honesty. I've been noticing when I do this, I only need the ESP. However, I do recommend that you bring all the files over just in case. So you're going to click all these and you're going to basically um, open up another folder. I'm going to right click here and I'm going to open up a folder location. Right, let's try another folder here. So we'll go ahead and open up and we're going to go to data folder. You're going to basically copy these. Copy, just in case it doesn't work. This is your backup. You're gonna drop them in in the um, data folder. As you see, it's 5,572 files. It may look like a small file, but it actually has a lot of stuff in it. Give it a minute while it loads. Alright, next we're going to go to over to our Skyrim directory. Here's your data folder. Your Skyrim directory is right next to it. Just click that and you'll pop into it. Alright, you're going to want to load up the data, the, the creation kit. Give it a moment to load. All right, so this part I'm gonna I'm just gonna show you what to do. Make sure anytime you you're basically updating a mod, you're gonna want it to click at the Skyrim and the update. Okay, you want both of these. And the reason you want the update is because this is where all the files for special edition have been located, whether it's a water file or not. You want to use this to, you want to use this to bring up to activate your folder, your uh, your ESP. Click on your ESP and click activate. Any this goes with all mods you're converting. Make sure 100% that all your mods are basically um voiceovers like are are active and they're under the update and the Skyrim. All right, you're going to go ahead and click okay. I'm going to skip ahead of this part so you know what to do and then I'll show you the rest of it. Okay, we're going to click okay and let it load. Make sure you click yes to all. Want all the pop prop up. All right, now that we've loaded up the the vo see this is the player voice sets ESP. We're going to go ahead and we're going to save it now. I recommend you do not archive this. The reason being is because not all of this not all of the scripts are going to load. Okay, so if you try to archive it, you will not load. Now, if you have textures, 
I recommend you not making it at ESP right now. Until we're able to figure out how all the to get all the um, SKC stuff packaged correctly, I recommend you do not um, create an archive. So right now just go ahead and click save. Click save and push this PC for backup and then click exit. That's all you're doing. You're just saving the ESP here. Now, we've gone ahead and saved that. We're going to go back to the data folder and make sure all the files are there. Give it a moment to load. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kill this, go back to our data folder, and drop this in it. That's it. it. You're done. The files that you did have in there, you can actually just get rid of them now. So you know what they are. They're scripts. Delete. Six, and then you're going to get rid of sound. And that's see as this because that's where all the as you can see that's where all the um the the, the files were. All right, now we're going to click out of it. So you're looking for your player voice headset. It says main here fixed. Okay, so that's the file we're looking for. Not this one. Not that one. So we'll find it on our here because this one we made it made the file. Oh, here it is. You're gonna click on it and you're just gonna rename it however you want. I usually go to like a fix SSE. Anyway, we've already um replaced all this stuff. So after you cleared your file, you right click it and then you're gonna zip it up. Alright, so mine says this is I created the little same file over here. Alright, now I'm gonna use my mod now you can use mod manager. Now all you gotta do is basically use your Nexus mod manager, install it like normal zip file, or you can use mod, mod, mod organizer. I'm gonna use mod organizer because I don't want it touching my data folder. By the way, this mod organizer is for Skyrim old rim, not new rim for me. And actually this mod organizer particularly goes to my fallout, so that, this is different. I actually stick my mod organizer inside my um, directory for Skyrim Special Edition. And I, and I opened it up. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open it up. You're gonna find your you find your folder. Oh, one more time. You're gonna find your folder. Looking for the player voice set SE, that's the one we made. It'll say zip. Yep, here it is. Click right here, and you're gonna and I man I like to manually do it. Set data path, and there you go. Looks good. Alright, you click OK. Just click and you can just replace. Now all you gotta do is uh just to be double safe, load SSE edit. Load SSE edit for me. So click none, and then click on the file, and then click OK. Because it's an older file from 2014, you want to basically check it, check an SSE edit. Anytime you try, you basically convert a file, you want to check it on an SSE edit one for errors, and then two you want to see about cleaning the file. Now, Matador Smat. Now, Matador has recently released uh, Z Edit. I may make once I learn how to use the tool, I will make a, a tutorial for you guys. So you want to check for errors, and it will look for errors. So it looks like there is a bit of an error in here. So what we want to do is we want to click um, cl see about cleaning it. Okay, so we're going to click Apply Clean. Now this is for the mod author to check out, not us. If you guys now the mod author of this mod, believe it or not, says he might be jumping back in because of SSE edit. So we'll see, but we'll see what happens. If the mod author decides to jump back in to fix the mod, then you don't have to worry about it. He might even decide to bring it over to a um, special edition. But right now, we're going to go ahead and try to clean the mod just to see if it does anything. Okay, see it didn't need to be cleaned apparently. We'll do undelete. So also, it looks fine. All right, just we just we are aware that the mod does have have a bit a bit of an issue here. 
There's more of the info of the conditions than the perimeters. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click out. Now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna load up the game. All right, everybody. I just want to go ahead and let you know we've just logged on, and um, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna create a new character with a new mod that we installed. You will see a failure that is from another mod I installed. It's called Go to Sleep. Yep, there it is. This is from another mod I installed. It has an issue because it is missing a file right now. So we'll just, I want to do a, we'll do a Dark Elf since I know the Dark Elf um, voice is in there. This is great for role playing as a Dark Elf. We'll do a Tester B. So one of the reasons I want to show you why this is important on, on what we just did, and you know, it'll make the game work really much, much better. Once things start getting converted over, because SKC 64, when things are more st stable, you'll start to notice things a, l a little bit easier, and the mod authors will be able to fix their stuff. But for now, not all the scripts are, are fully in the game. Now, why do we want to pick this mod? Because this mod actually allows you to test it um, with, with just the voice alone, and which is really cool. I really do like the mod because of this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cl click Escape. We're going to check our MCM menu. As you can see, this is SKC 64 for Special Edition. The mod menu is here. We're going to go ahead and click on the mod menu. I'm going to click the player voice set. Before we activate it, we want to make choose our voice. We're going to choose the Dunmer male. We're going to click, and then we're going to click uh, exit for tab, and then we're going to choose a button. I like to click O. O is the button I like to use to test it. And now you're going to activate the mod. And you're going to click accept. And you're going to click tab. All right, so the mod is activated. This is the kind of mod where your character will speak any time. Um, You click the O button. So your character will fight now anytime your character gets hurt or is that something your character will actually fight and um, while you're playing. Now right now SKSA 64 has a major bug into it. At some point though, um, it will not. So when you don't want to start doing uh, conversions with SKSC, it's this simple. Now there are many be eventually let the authors themselves, they will start um, packing the files correctly and getting them ready to go um, with the new uh, um, but the new Bethesda launcher, so you don't have to worry about so much about the loose files. But for right now, this is how you do it. You want to make sure your files are loose, so that way the MCM menu and Sky UI can actually pick up the pick up the file correctly. All right. So as you can see here, we've gone ahead and we get the voice. Now you want to change the voice. We're going to go ahead and we're going to um, we'll do Mel Khajiit. Unactivate it. Activate it again. Click OK. Give it a moment to load. All right. As you can see, um, the mod is working. It's doing well. I showed you the MCM menu. Alright guys, um, I just want to kind of show you how to like basically bring a mod over. So if you guys are using uh, meshes and or animations, you need to basically use the, the optimizer. Um, and you also, and if you're using animations, you need to use the tool that, um, that I showed you earlier on my other video. Anyway guys, um, I just want to thank you for you know being a part of my video. And I want to go ahead and um, know that you know if you like my videos, please go ahead and like, like and share with your friends. If you like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Once again, my name is Tony Mollet. Thank you for the click. And I'll see you next time.